channel. Um, today we're gonna be trying out the new, I think it's fairly new, the NYX Total Drop Foundation in a little droplet, along with the corresponding corresponding brush you're supposed to be using with it. Um, and as well as my new Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Finally got it, thank God. Just wanted to apologize for this situation. I look like Aunt Jemima, but I actually just got out of the shower and I like to keep my hair, um, my wet hair up like this while I do my makeup. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. I have already moisturized and primed my skin uh, with the two that I've been obsessed with. The moisturizer I use, Murad, uh, Skin Perfecting Lotion, and the primer I'm using is Lush Magical Moringa. Moringa. It's really bomb. Um, but again, I'll list everything I, I use down below. Um, <clears throat> let's get them. See, it's the drop, it's like a little droplet foundation. I haven't, I mean, I've swatched the color on the back of my hand, but I haven't put it on my face yet. So I don't know if it's gonna be my color. Um, we're about to find out. How many, I think I put like five drops in there, to be honest. And they kind, I feel like they all just went straight down to the bottom of the brush here because I don't see anything on the top there. Let's see. Uh-huh. I'm just doing round circles, swirly motions. Let's do the half of my face first to see. Comparison, I guess. I feel like this probably isn't my color, though. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Again, I use about five little droplets. Just drag it down. All right, let's check it out. Hey, I kind of like looked really zoomed in on my face right now. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. It's very it feels lightweight on the skin, but like around my nose, it's caking up really bad. I don't know. Let's put it on our whole face to see. Do the other half with a damp beauty blender and check it out. Let's do it this technique better. Oh, oh. I'm melting. So damp beauty blender. Mmm. Mmm. Now we're talking. Wow. Yeah, I know. Um, I like it a lot better. Like, a lot better with the Dan Beauty Blender. It blends out better. It gives it more coverage. Around the nose, look, it's not caking up. That's really, that's really great, actually. So, yeah, I mean, final verdict, definitely... <laughs> If you're gonna use this foundation, I highly suggest the um, the application to do it with a, a damp beauty blender, a damp sponge. So yeah, it's a Castillo. Let's try it out. I've tried it already. I tried it on Friday night when I went out. But let's do it. I mean, really good stuff. going ahead using my RCMA powder to bake that concealer we just put on and 
I apply it again with a damp sponge. Uh, <laughs> pardon my bootleg sponge. It was just like one of those cheap sponges. And I don't know what happened, but it kind of like broke in half. So I was like, why am I gonna throw away a good sponge for? Just cause it's broken. And we're gonna bake it with the RCMA powder. I love this powder. If you guys haven't tried it, definitely try it. Okay, and we're back. Um, for eyebrows, I just used my regular Sephora Micro Brow Pencil and Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. Okay, so now, mascara. And then we should be done soon. So yeah, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna take off my um, baking powder. I saw one of uh, Manny's video, Manny the makeup artist. Um, he gave a good tip. If once you're taking off your setting powder, your baking powder, whatever, don't don't take it off from the inside out. Kind of like dust it off from the outside in. I guess maybe it's like to help creasing or whatever, but I did try that on Friday night. <coughs> um, Friday night was the first time I used the Shape Tape Concealer, and I did use that mes method as far as taking off the RCMA powder. I did it from the outside in, and I felt like it didn't make a lot of a difference. Like, <laughs> it didn't crease at all throughout the whole night. This pimple. It's gonna be the death of me this week for sure. A little bit of blush, highlight, and then we're done. Um, I usually don't contour um, at all, like with kind of like a look like this, a no makeup makeup look. So I'm gonna use Prenump by ColourPop. And then for highlight, I mean, I'm probably going to be using this like for the whole month. <laughs> I've completely forgotten about all my other highlights, to be honest. Um, I want to do a mix today. I'm going to be daring. I want to mix, I'm going to mix Kitty Cat along with 143 and see what that looks like. I'm actually just going to do it with my fingers. I like highlighting with my fingers, um, it's the easiest thing, and you get to feel where your cheekbone is, you know, so it's kind of like a win-win. And I feel like it controls the amount of highlight you're going to put, because to be honest, like this is a no makeup look, like, you know, like you don't want to be glowed from head to toe. Like I'm not gonna glow. I'm not gonna put highlighter on my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, where I usually would do if it's like a full face. Kind of just like an inner glow type thing. Spray it with a little bit of facial spray, Mario Badescu, aloe, cucumber, and green tea. Oh. So yeah, this is my finished look. Um, I'm kind of digging the foundation, to be honest. I really like the foundation, but then again, don't use this brush with it, no. Use uh, a damp sponge, damp beauty blender, whatever you want to use. Um, as far as lasts, like long wearing, not 100% sure. 
Uh, today is Sunday. I am going to film um, a few more videos today. But yeah, I'll keep you posted on how long it lasts and if it cakes up or it breaks up or whatever. Um, so yeah, I think I am going to keep it. I hope you guys enjoyed this no makeup makeup look slash first impressions on the NYX foundation, drop foundation. Um, and see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>